In English, you want to say someone did something for me or to me. Uh, for example, let's make this easy with boobs. One thing, if I am talking too quickly in this video, please hit the slow speed button. I might sound drunk. However, if I'm talking too slowly and you're like, oh my God, hurry up, please speed the video up. And if you can understand me talking at this speed, then you'll learn this much in this amount of time. Okay, for example, this is me and I want boobs. I won't do it myself, that would be weird. It's like when you have long hair. You don't cut it, do you? I, mean, I do because it's easy, but you probably go to the salon or the barber and this person does your hair. In general, we say they do your hair, the verb do. Nice and easy, right? So example sentence, every month he does my hair. Fine, but when someone does something for you, like a service, we have special grammar for that. And you need to use this grammar structure to sound advanced in English. I have my hair done by the hairdresser, by this person, by your mum, whoever. We don't need this part. We don't need to say by him, by the person. It's obvious, we know who did your hair. To talk about a different tense, like the past, change the verb have. For example, yesterday I had my hair done. Why done? Well, remember, this is the general verb. We all know what happened to your hair. It's obvious, cut, right? But sometimes it's not obvious. Sometimes you want to use the specific verb. For example, wow, did you have something done? You look different. Yes, I had my hair dyed and straightened. Remember the structure and form. So have, the thing that changed, and a verb three. For example, I had my eyes done a few years ago. If you say that, we all understand what happened, right? My eyesight was bad. No, it was really bad. I couldn't see something this far away. It was terrible. Um, so we all know I had the surgery thing. I had my eyes done. We've only changed this to a past. I had my eyes done. I had my hair done. What about the future? For example, um, my screen on my phone psh, broke, right? So I need someone to fix it. The verb is fix. Okay, I need to have my phone fixed. That's not future. All right, I'm going to have my phone fixed. Th this is the second thing. Um, I have something done, great. But we can change this verb for the verb get. Yes, you can use get for everything in English. So in my English speaking classes this month, we're talking about medical tourism. That means people travel to another country to get cheap surgery or a cheap medical thing because it's cheaper in another country or maybe it's better in another country. For example, in the UK, so, so common for people to go to Turkey to have their teeth done. It's so common that they call it turkey teeth. Also to get their hair done as well, the hair transplant thing. Don't worry, I'm never gonna do that. But yeah, the teeth thing, it's very, very common here. Is this common in your country? Because I swear in London, you see more and more people with the like ridiculously white, like perfect, but too perfect teeth. It looks ridiculous. Anyway, let's practice this right now so it stays in your brain. So tell me in the comments, what is a really common surgery to have done in your country? Write in the comments, I'll get you started. In my country, it's really common for people to have their, or to get their thing they wanna change done. For example, I know in South Korea, it's really common for people to have their eyelids done, right? I don't know exactly what happens or what's changing, but maybe you can educate me. I, I don't know what changes. 
Okay, so more vocabulary would be very useful. So let's learn some very useful English verbs to talk about this situation. Cut, common, easy. Irregular verb, cut, 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 doesn't change. She got her hair cut. This situation, the verb is laser. That's the verb, regular verb. So, I got my eyes lasered. Now, actually, I won't say I had my eyes lasered. It's obvious what happened, so I'll change this verb for done. I had my eyes done seven years ago, or eight, I don't remember. I think they're okay still though. I think, I hope. Replace, when you change an old thing for a new thing. I need to have my iPhone screen replaced, it's broken. Washed, cleaned, these might be good if you're talking about your car. Do you need to get your car washed, your car cleaned? Um, is it expensive to have your car washed in your country? In London, I have no idea, I don't have a car, but I think it's, I don't know, between five pounds and 50 pounds to get your car cleaned in London? Again, no idea. Oh, if you're lucky, you are having your dinner cooked for you tonight. And if so, who's cooking for you? What are they cooking? And can I come over for dinner, please? I'm very hungry. Maybe you need to go to the doctor because the doctor needs to look at your leg because it's painful. Ooh, that leg looks bad. You might need to have it looked at. Yeah, I'm going to the doctor to get my leg looked at. This, very useful for medical things. More advanced and you're gonna practice this until it feels natural in your mouth. So, how much do services cost in your country? So, for example, in England, um, it costs around 20 pounds for a guy to get his hair done, to get his hair cut. Um, for women, I think it's like 80 pounds to get your hair done in London. Um, I don't know, is that expensive or cheap? How much is it in your country? Also, practice this by telling me how much these services cost in your country. For example, how much would it cost for me to get my nails done in your country? But like nothing basic. If I wanted like mad nail art, how much would that cost to get my nails done in your country? And also you can use this grammar when you talk about something unfortunate happening to you. For example, I had my phone stolen in the street. This is actually very common in London. Uh, the other day I saw it. Uh, just don't walk like this close to a street in London. Someone on a bike will steal your phone. Um, what else? I got my car broken into. Again, it's something unfortunate, unlucky that happens to you. Um, what else? I had my tonsils taken out or removed. That's my mouth. I know it's disgusting. But before this, I had really bad sleep apnea. Like really, really bad. I snored like a monster. But again though, there's that feeling of someone doing something for you, or if it's bad, to you. So if you said, I got my leg broken, grammatically, that's fine. But remember, it means someone did it to you. So if you were just walking by yourself, fell over by yourself, broke your leg by yourself, this grammar doesn't work. But if you were, for example, playing football and someone broke your leg, then it works. All right, finally, let's practice this together by talking shit about celebrities. So, her, Jesus. Okay, she definitely had her nose done. Um, she probably got her boobs done too. Uh, what else? She definitely had other things done, but I don't know. If you can spot this, tell me in the comments. Monica, she didn't have anything done, did she? I mean, she probably got Botox and fillers put in, but other than that, I don't know. I, I don't think she had anything else done. I don't know, what do you think? Jesus, um, she's a Kardashian. She's had everything done. She's definitely had her nose done. Did it, is it my imagination or is it? 
You know, what exactly do you think that she's had done? Because I, I don't know. Okay, and finally, Cardi B? Oh, okay, so she's had her lips done, but like what else changed? I don't know. Again, please, you help me with this. I don't know what she's had done, so you let me know in the comments. You can practice this and many other lessons in my Ultimate English eBook. This is the best study book for self-study if you want to improve your English. You can get it at patreon.com slash papateachme, my website papateachme.com, or there's a link right there. I'll see you in the next class.